The Olsen Field stands look like one big dance party. Almost us, side to side. Fat Pat's tops drop blaring through the speakers can only mean one thing. Kevin Gonzalez, or Gonzo as his teammates call him, is that bad. We got some of the best fans, and they like to have fun with it just as much as we do when we pick our walkout songs. It's great to see it. You know, it's fun that they actually get to have some fun, and that's what is the best thing about it. They get into the game. A second team all Big 12 selection last year. Gonzo is third on the squad with seven doubles, and his clutch hitting of late has helped the Aggies to a number nine ranking overall. We have two or three great hitters on the team right now that have been rolling, and when we get two more, such as myself and Yingo, going and getting hits when we need them, we're just going to keep rolling and keep winning games. At catcher, Gonzo is an important important part of the Texas A&M pitching staff's combined 2.39 ERA this season, second in the Big 12. He probably gets our guys four or five strikes a game just the way he receives the baseball. Our kids aren't afraid to bounce a breaking ball up there in the dirt. They know Kevin's going to be able to block and keep it in front with two strikes. When you have dominating staff, it's great. You know, you got Stilson on Friday, walk on Saturday, and Stripling on Sunday. Whenever you get them on the mound, you know they're going to throw strikes to compete. Got him on, here we go. With just eight errors in his career at AM and a 997 fielding percentage this season, Gonzo is one of the best defensive catchers in college baseball. Learning behind him defensively has definitely been the greatest thing that could have ever happened to me. But even hitting wise, I mean, he comes up with a lot of clutch hits because he, he just keeps his composure. As impressive as his play on the field is, Gonzo's leadership is just as vital. He's a quarterback of our team. He does an amazing job behind the plate. and. You know, it's kind of like when an umpire is having a great night. People don't notice him. The last time Texas A&M reached the College World Series was 1999, despite earning two trips to the Super Regionals since Gonzo arrived on campus. With the NCAA tournament just a few weeks away, the Aggies are hoping this is the year they earn the program's first ever national title. In College Station, Kevin Cuenca, ABC 40 Sports.